Hi guys, I'm Bobsy. In this video, we're gonna set up our character to work with actually holding the weapons. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So first of all, let's look at what the animations look like right now. In the previous video, we set up these basic animations and this is just an idling animation. I'm thinking it's kind of fun if he just puts his hand on the gun. We could work with animation layers to have like a shooting pose or something for the top of the body. But the thing is, I kind of want the gun to be static where it is. So I also just like for the hands to just reach for the weapons. So let's try and set up a system like that. Now again, we're kind of in the, in the field of animation here, which is very much out of my comfort zone. But if we go into the package manager, we go into the Unity Red registry up here and we go for the animation rigging package we can work with what's called inverse kinematic to actually have the hands with all the bones to it and move towards the weapon so now that we have the animation rigging let's go into the player got to go into the character here which is sort of the root of the visuals of the player go up to animation rigging and we press on rig setup this now means that we have a whole rig another thing we can also do is we can go up here and say bone renderer setup and now you can see all the bones that are inside of this rig. Now, this also means that you can actually see what happens when you move the bone, where they actually move to, where the axes are and the light. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> and yeah, so we are going to be using utilizing this. I think this go to the rig. I don't know where the renderer is, to be honest. I thought the renderer would be here. Oh, well, no bone renderer here. Uh, transform. I think it might be this root transform that we'd want to delete. Nope, it is not. I was just thinking of this like big transform in here. I don't know what that is, to be honest. This is the head of Funky. Okay, well, I'll, I'm just going to leave it be. Normally, it probably won't have like a big triangle right in the center, but I hope this is still going to be fine. What we need to set up now is underneath our rig, we need to add a, I guess, let's just call it right arm. And what we need to do is we go in, add a new component, animation rigging. And I believe this would be called a two bone eye key constraint. I think this is it. Now, here we need to set up the root object, mid object, and the tip. This is most likely going to be the up arm, lower arm, and the hand. But something I believe which is quite handy is you can have it do it itself. So this was the right arm. So I'm going to go into the right arm, spine, upper spine. So this is going to be the right, right shoulder, elbow, hand. We technically have them all here, but let me just try and drag this hand in here as the tip. And then I can go in here and out to set up from tip. And you can see it automatically found the elbow and the shoulder. It's also been so nice as to set up a target and a hint for us as well, which means it should runtime animate towards these. But, so we can actually go test this. So let me just try and go straight into play mode. And as you can see now, the hand is floating out here on the player. If we go into the player, into the character, the rig, right arm, and then the target, and we start moving the target away, you'll see how the arm will start, you know, following the target also in terms of rotation. So I can rotate everything and I can rotate it to actually go and hold the gun. So like here, go down, boom, now we go. And this is basically where we'd want our, what's called sort of right target position to be on the gun. So what we could do now that the game is running and I actually do want to do this is I'm going to go under the player create an empty and I'm going to call it right hand underscore pistol position. Now this is relevant because we're going to be using this later. So let me take the let me take the right arm target and I'm going to copy the world transform position and I'm going to go into the right hand pistol position. I'm going to paste the world transform position so it's going to position itself correctly. This now means that the values that we have up here are however still local space so I can just copy the entire component and now we can just stop playing. This means if we go into the player well the thing that we just made is gone but we can go onto the player, create a new object, right hand underscore pistol position. And I can just paste the component values. And this means that it will place it exactly where and with the rotation that we want. Put this into local, that way you can see it's rotated. And I wonder if we should probably put this under the pistol. Yeah, because it's always going to be relative to the pistol, right? So I'm going to put this as a child to the pistol. And we've just got to use, do the same thing. So we can make a new rig now for the left arm. I'm going to call this one left arm. I'm going to go into the character, root, and then it's not the right, but the left that we need. And, and I'm going to have the two bone eye key constraint and tip auto setup. There we go. Technically, let's just make a left hand as well here. Left hand pistol position like so. And we should probably rotate this just a full 180 degrees or something like that i don't know place it over here hopefully it makes sense we, we're gonna test it obviously and it's gonna look funny it is gonna look funny but i think that's part of the charm you can use much more time on tweaking this i mostly just want to make it work just to show you and also want to try and make it work with the different weapons so you guys can start doing that yourself now in the player pistol script and actually in the a player weapon script i also want to get the ik constraints so let me try and make a public transform right hand target ik target and we're gonna have a left hand ik target as well like so now we can go and set both of these immediately and inspect so it should show up right here take the right hand target and the left hand target and then in here on the player weapon then we now want to get the targets from in here 
So by the way, I just want to explain really quickly. The hint is actually what the elbows are going to aim for. Now, I am not going to set these up right now. We can play around with it if it's going to look stupid, but I'm going to leave them for now. What we care about are the targets because that's what the hand moves towards directly. So now what we can do is we can serialize field, private, transform, and we can have the right hand target and the left hand target. And this now means that the target should always set themselves directly onto the uh, weapon targets. And this should happen whenever that we test weapons. So whenever we set the weapon index, it'll change the weapon index, which we'll call the on current weapon change. As I don't know if you remember, but we set it up here to follow on change. So on the on current weapon change, this is also where we want to update what the targets go on. So the right hand target dot position is going to be equals to the current weapon dot right hand IK target dot position. I'm going to set the rotation as well. I actually think there is a set position and rotation we can just use the set position comma and i'm just going to copy all of this we go and set the rotation from that as well and i'm going to do the same for the left hand target i'm going to do the same for the left hand ik target like so and now let's go test if this just works with the pistol or not but it should and most importantly it should work for all players i believe did we set the targets i don't think we did with the player no we did not set the target so the right arm target the right hand target and the left arm target that's the left hand target. go now we can exit prefab mode and here we go so now if we go into the scene and boom you can see he's attempting to hold it oh yeah but of course it's not updating the positions and this hand is having some trouble obviously let's help him with that <laughs> with that hand that does hurt rick that's the left arm left hand target so it's just going to do a full 180 on the set axis okay yeah so let's go into the player <laughs> right i might have fucked that one up a little bit into the pistol left hand target with full 180 on that there we go. now what happened there is the pistol moves up and down so we actually want this to happen on update for our own player as well which we can do in here so that should mean that it now locally at least should move with you now the more i think about it the more i realize this isn't important because the pistols don't actually move on other screens but i just want to show you that's how you would do it don't mind the errors but as you can see now the hands actually try and follow the pistol up and the same if the pistol obviously goes down same thing it'll try and follow. <laughs> you know what i'm gonna keep this this is perfection <laughs> i love that but the thing is we don't we don't actually need to do this because we're not seeing our own player and other players don't see our weapons go up and down currently so there's no point in it i just want to show you you can do it an update the errors right there which i just want to say is because the current weapon isn't set immediately which means if it doesn't have a current weapon it can't do it the way you can avoid this is just if you can do if if there is no current weapon so an exclamation mark in front you just return that'll eliminate the errors but obviously i am not really interested in that it doesn't matter to me now we also need to set these up for the other weapons so let's do that immediately let's just copy these from the pistol throw them onto the rifle and just for that sake just call them uh, position no point in it being named pistol i just realized there we go okay so the left hand position well should now be over by the front and this would most likely mean it the hand needs to lay down and inwards i don't know this might this might look cursed again bear with me i've already said a couple of times i'm not an animator guy it's gonna be funny anyway <laughs> and the right hand position uh, to be honest looks kind of right move it down a little bit maybe a little bit back so it holds down here and let's just add these so the right hand position in here left hand position in here and let's add them for the shotgun as well shall we i'm just going to copy them throw them onto the shotgun enable that disable the rifle shotgun looks right left hand position move that way back so maybe i don't know i, I don't have any idea if it's turned correctly let's try it and let's just test it locally for now so let me try and pick up the ak we should hopefully see it try and change Oh, and again, we were looking down at the time. So, of course, that's all we can run similarities on. I mean, I think it's going to look okay. Let me try and look down and just tap out and just see where they're placed. Oh, it's it's doing its best. Okay, you know what? Let's... Oh, I didn't assign them on the shotgun. I forgot. So, right hand position and left hand position. Let's just go and test the multiplayer immediately. That's going to be a lot easier to see rather than this scuffed thing I'm doing. So, here we go. And as you can see, he's holding his weapon. Again, it's not pretty that... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see him pick up a weapon. So picked up. There we go. Look at that butte. I think it's just because he can't reach. Again, I'm not really going to worry about it. <laughs> and the shotgun. Again, can't really reach. Uh, once again, I'm not going to worry about the little details. You know how to do it. One thing is, we are seeing an error here. Because the host is not doing it. Not doing the jiggy majiggies here. And so we need to figure out why he's not doing that. So let's have a look. It's happening in play weapon on current weapon index changed. This is when it changes the visuals of the weapon, meaning the current weapon does get set up. Yeah, so the current weapon does get set up and it should get it. And there were some warnings in the console. Let me just share those with you so you can follow my debugging here. Whoops. So it's saying that the game object is null or missing. Reference script on this behavior. Interesting. It's saying it's missing the character. 
very odd. This uh, hunter log here doesn't really help me a whole bunch. Try and remove the warnings. Let's try again. I just want to see. Oh, you know what? I think I know what happens. Is it doesn't update. So wait, it should update them. No, it should update. Let's try where he picks up a weapon just to see how that looks. I'm going to take this view over here just so you can follow along. This guy's going to pick up a weapon. And no, it doesn't place it. But there's no more warnings in the console either. So I don't think those warnings have anything to do with it. That's funky. But okay, let's see what's happening. Setting the weapon active. We're seeing that. So obviously the code is running because we're seeing this stuff. Seeing it being set at active. We, well, we're seeing it disabling the others, setting the correct one active, setting the current weapon. And then it's using the current weapon, that IK target. Does it have a problem getting the IK target? It shouldn't. I mean, they're hard set in inspector. There shouldn't be anything with it. Debug.log. Let's just try and log out the target just to see that it even has the target. Try that. See what happens. I'm keeping an eye on the log. And it did call it. It called that it found it, just like it did here. Right hand position found, right hand position. Over here it called it twice as well. So it did find it, which means the code's getting, getting called. Okay, let's try and see if in the scene view the targets aren't being followed for some reason. I don't know why it would be different because it's the same players. I mean, the scene over here hasn't been saved. Does that have anything to do with it? I tend to make that mistake sometimes. I don't think it has anything to do with it. No. So he's still not holding the weapon on this screen. Let me take the scene view over here just so we can try and have a look what's going on. Let me try and remove the gizmos. So I'm just going to select the, the right arm target here. Yeah, so it's obviously not following the target. So it actually has placed it, as you can see. Target's placed. Oh, God. Okay. I see what's happening here. So Parallel Sync is a package, which means it gets added in here in the packages. Now, Parallel Sync only copies the assets, not the packages. Meaning that the way that I believe we fix this is, as you can see, I just I just right clicked, show an explorer. It opens up this. I can go into packages here. And you can see I have these packages here. I can now go into my Parallel Sync clone, go into the packages, copy paste these here and replace them. So it's simply because it just doesn't have the animation rigging package. So it didn't know what rigging was. So now by doing this, I go over that. It's going to load everything again. It's going to download the package and it should hopefully just work. So let me try and pull this back. So yeah, okay. Everything is technically set up from our side correctly, but Parallel Sync wasn't up to date. So yeah, now he's holding his gun. Let me just show you so you can see it here. Now he's holding his gun and it's going to work for the other guns as well. Okay, yeah, so that's confirmed. It works. That's what matters. So this was the whole video on just animation breaking of the player. I'm not very good at it. Obviously, it looked extremely scuffed, which I think has its own charm. I really love when things look scuffed like this, and I think you should too. As game developers, I think we've got to stop trying to strive for perfection and rather just make things... Because, again, it's about having a fun experience. As long as it isn't a buggy experience, I think it can be scuffed. I think it really has its charm. But that's, of course, up to you. You can use as much time on tweaking this as you want. You can also play around with the animation rigs. So there's obviously a bunch of animation rigs in here. The multi-aim constraint makes a bone look at or aim at whatever you choose so something if you want the head to look in the correct direction you can make a multi-aim constraint and have the head look in the correct direction the same if you want the weapon to actually aim where you're looking and have the hand aim in the direction and then put the weapon as a child object of the hand yada yada there's a bunch of things that you can do with it it's super cool and i very much urge you to play around with animation rigging there's a lot of things to do and i'm glad that i can do it but that being said i'm not a polish guy i'm not an animation guy i don't really enjoy playing around with it too much but uh, again i'm really happy that i at least understand it and know how to work with it so yeah if this was helpful to you please do leave a like subscribe comment if you have any issues feel free to comment i'll do my best to help you out and i just hope that you have a wonderful day